still 16, right? Raise. Jen's raised here with pocket sixes. Tell you what, Joe, let's play this hand from her perspective. Let's go in the tank with Jen. I am in the tank with Jen. She's been called by Gareth. I expect him to have overcards most of the time. Yeah, that's not a good flop for a pair of sixes. I think this flop is going to hit Gareth enough, but we can see bet. Try to protect our hand, win this pot right now. Okay. Jen does bet. If Gareth calls here, I think the worst he's going to have is a gut shot. Most of the time, I think it's going to be a significant piece. The turn card is a seven. Not a bad card for us, but I'd like to slow it down here. We're not getting him to fold an ace, and probably not a king either. The action goes check, check. A three on the river. Seems like a brick, but Gareth is going to bet. Question is, which button has Gareth just pressed? He bets. Around half the pot. I don't think this is a bluff very often. I can't imagine what hand he's got here that we're beating. Queen Jack and Jack Ten are the only ones that come to mind. Like a hunchback, it works at a laundromat. I am leaning towards a fold. Time's running out, Jen. Time. She's used one of her time bank chips. I honestly have nothing to say for another 30 seconds. This is awkward. She might be overthinking this one. It's the cage factor. Go in the shark cage. So make the call. Worst case scenario, you lose the pop. Best case, Gareth goes back in the cage. You score a bonus chip. Five seconds. <laughs> this is fun. Yeah, it's fun. Fold. Fold. Did he push the button? Did he push it? I need to know. I don't want the public to think, oh my gosh, she plays awful. Oh, I don't want to go in the shark cage. So is Jen off to the cage. Tiger tweets, shark cage.